The three mines that would come into operation are Uwe's Tin Mine, Namib Lead and Zinc Mine, Desert Lion Energy's Rubicon and Helicon Lithium Mines, which closed by the early 90s. Chamber of Mines Chief Executive Officer Veston Malango announced this on Wednesday during the launch of the 2019 Mining Expo, slated for the 8th and 9th of May 2019. Uh, mines going on care and maintenance uh, due to um, um, challenges with, uh, with the markets of those uh, minerals, and that is notably starting with the Langer Heinrich Kelman went on uh, uh, care and maintenance and in fact the announcement was made uh, when we were at the mining expo last year actually. Um, then we saw um, Okahanja graphite has uh, also come into uh, care and maintenance. Uh, we saw uh, Desert Lion which is a lithium uh, going on care and maintenance and, and all these uh, uh, operations uh, we ended up um, having um, um, job losses um, totaling 822. Malango explained that the Uis tin mine owned by Afriton closed in November 1990, while North River Resources, Namibled and Zinc Mine closed down in 1991, and Desert Lion Energies mines between 1989 and 1990. This year is very unique um, for us at the Chamber. Uh, in the sense that this is a, a, a golden jubilee a year for us. Uh, we are celebrating uh, 50 years of, uh, of our existence. And this is how uh, we've coined uh, the theme for this year's uh, event, is uh, uh, celebrating 50 years of dedicated service and uh, excellence to the mining, uh, the mining industry. The decreasing life of mines of some of Namibia's operations is among the topics that will be discussed at the conference, which runs concurrently with the Expo, as well as to explore sustainability for the sector through the discovery of new mines. Salima Shimwe Feleni reporting for Nampa News, Vintook.